Hi everybody, um, my name is Erica and what I did basically for my project is I turned a PC fan into a wind turbine. Um, eh, I guess I put this in. Where is it? Uh, it's um, I turned the PC fan into a wind turbine. Um, this is uh, my description of the project. I wanted to get a feel of like um, beginner engineering. Um, I thought it would be something simple and easy. I kind of thought wrong on that. Um, but I overcame a lot. I learned a lot just from the little things that I did out of the entire project. But I'm not as proud as I could be of what I did. Um, I'm not entirely finished with this project because when um, most of the things that I had didn't work, so, um, I definitely went through a lot of bumps in the road. Uh, things that you, I used, it was, um, I used a PC fan, thick plastic bottle, a few feet of small wire, a piece of plywood with certain dimensions, um, two lengths of steel, which I didn't even use this, I didn't even find any, I wasn't trying to find it too much, um, Four shot key diodes, epoxy, epoxy, however you pronounce that, super glue, zip ties, an old CD, and solder. Um, you will be soldering quite a bit with this project. Um, what I learned is that building something takes a lot of time, and you should always have resources handy and backup available. Um, I didn't use or I didn't really have backup very much. I mainly was just focused on what I was doing. So So welcome to Erica's house. Kind of awkward. Or Erica's room. Um uh so what I'm going to show you basically is what I had, like what resources I had and kind of what I tried to deal with. Um so to get a box of wonder, um, something I went to Radio Shack for this. It is a one twenty millimeter highest performance PC fan, and basically this is kind of what the outcome of what this was. Um, it used to be in this thing. I took it out and um, basically destroyed this part. And then you can spin it. Um, so, and then basically, oops, sorry. Um, So basically what I did, I actually don't have it handy with me right now, um, for some reason, uh, I, I, yeah, we took it off and then we left that vision jack, which I don't have with me right now, sorry about that. Um, you have your, close up right here, um, so you have your three right here, you have your positive and your negative and then your Y. You will have your red one right here on your positive. And then on your negative, you'll have black. And then on your Y, you will normally have a white wire. Um, what you will do with that wire right here, you will connect it to... Uh, where is it? You will connect it to here. To this... Um, to come. So you'll connect it to the coil legs on the bottom. So this is being connected to a coil leg. And then your negative one will come over here, and then your Y will come over here. So here's your, this is where your negative goes. And this is where your positive goes, right there. And then your Y, your extra one. Um, that's kind of for like 
extra power, I guess. Um, so that's how, that's what I did for soldering on here. Um, so that's basically all for soldering. It's, the rest of it is more power from the battery and then, um, pa like, or power being generated in here as, like, the wind blows and, or the wind, the, everything turns and that's how power is being generated. And then it generates electricity and then it powers things. Um, another part you will need, since you're going to be probably putting this outside to produce electricity and power things, you will need your piece of wood, which I found um, as a spare, and then a CD, and then you'll probably drill a hole, probably about uh, an inch deep. And then stick your CD in there, and then eventually you will be drilling two holes in there, and two holes into the CD to keep everything together. And then this will be your tail end where it kind of like directs where everything goes. And then this will go on the front, and then it'll just kind of be like a miniature wind turbine. Um, that's about all that I have for you. I think it's probably a little confusing. Um, I'll just send you to this link that I'll set somewhere around over here. And you can go click that and you'll probably understand it more as the guy isn't talking. And you'll have step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Um, overview. I learned that it's not as easy as it looks. Um, there's quite a few boys in uh, Vision Tech that know exactly what they're doing. They were probably in my position at one point in time where they had no idea what they were doing. Um, I basically had no idea what I was doing half the time. Um, another thing is to take your time, but not too much time, um, because you end up not finishing your project. Um, but uh, I think the reason why I took so long is because um, I just really didn't understand what exactly I was doing, and I got help from multiple people, thanks to Jake and Wesley, um, but, yeah. Um, something I was trying to replicate was, uh, upcycle a, a PC fan, PC fan wind turbine. It's, um, on a site's Google thing. And you can learn how to make a Sterling engine, alternative energy, thermo, electric, raspberry pi, misc, stuff like that. Uh, as you can tell, I kind of listed these. Um, out of these two tutorials, I kind of did a mix between them. I did a little bit of this one, and I did a little bit of this one. They were a little bit different, but... Um, I somehow managed to kind of somewhat understand what was going on. Um, to the step that I got to, I probably got to somewhere around step seven where um, I was mounting the CD on the piece of wood on this tutorial. But on this tutorial, I think I was at, okay, add. <clears throat> I don't under I just I just want to watch this okay I think I probably got to I got past here because I made my blades for my fan and then I think I got lost about here because I couldn't find uh, the wire that was necessary. In this one, it was, uh, where is it? Yeah, in this one, he used bell wire, which isn't very easy to find. <laughs> so, and then I also tried to test the alternator, 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 I know how to speak words, um, and I couldn't really make a thing light up, um, so 
that was kind of a problem. I ended up finding different kinds of old PC fans that I didn't get to tear apart exactly and use. So I had multiple different ones. <laughs>